Tomorrow, Oxford High School students are expected to return to classes. This comes more than a month after a shooting left four students dead. The high school students will be sharing the middle school building as part of an alternative hybrid schedule. And that schedule starts next tomorrow and is expected to run through January 21st. The district hopes the high school will be ready to reopen the week of January 24th. Meantime, on the same day the suspected Oxford school shooter and his parents faced a judge, the, super, the survivors filed an updated $100 million lawsuit. They accused the superintendent, the principal, and others of gross negligence and failing to prevent the mass shooting, alleging warning signs and disturbing behavior of the suspected shooter were ignored. In the amended lawsuit, Southfield attorney Jeffrey Figer says the defendants acted recklessly, demonstrating a substantial lack of concern for whether an injury results. The 107-page lawsuit added 11 new counts against school officials, alleging Superintendent Tim Throne and Principal Stephen Wolf had reviewed Ethan Crumbly's social media posts threatening students, and that both were aware Crumbly had brought the remains of a mutilated animal to school. The lawsuit claims Principal Wolf directed teachers and counselors to tell students to stop reporting or sharing the incidents and that Superintendent Throne also discouraged students and parents from discussing the social media posts. Figer filed the original lawsuit in early December on behalf of two sisters who survived the shooting. 15-year-old sophomore Ethan Crumbly has been charged with four counts of first-degree premeditated murder and 20 other felonies. Figer called the defendant's conduct outrageous, saying it shocks the conscience and that they are not entitled to qualified immunity. And recent court filings indicate school officials do plan to argue they're immune from the lawsuit. Meanwhile, Timothy Mullins, the attorney for that school district, in a statement said, quote, the allegations that Figer has made to the individuals named are false. 